Us Manchester United fans, we've seen plenty of false dawns over the years, all right? Ten Hag had one after his first season. There's been too many to really name. But it really feels like Manchester United, finally, it's happening right now that we are seeing our club connect from top to bottom. And we are seeing it connect in the transfer window as well, with four signings soon to be completed and more to be made and more sales coming. Everything is heading in the right direction. And I want to run through it all and discuss it with you in the comments. Let me know what you think. But Joshua Zerksy was how this transfer window started this summer. 23 years old, 30, what was it, 35 million pounds, there or thereabouts. Great price, great talent, somebody who can grow at the football club and will need to grow and develop. I think he'll prove to be an excellent signing. I hope so anyway. I'm excited by the idea of Xerxes at the club. But Yoro is the one that we... I suppose if you're going to say there's a statement signing for Manchester United summer, this is that statement signing. Going in there, nobody thought we would be able to sign him. Bringing him in, didn't go to Real Madrid, chose Manchester United as a place that he was going to develop. There's so much to love about the Lenny Yoro signing. And for United to see Rafael Varane out and say, good luck, and replace him with Lenny Yoro is, that right there is squad building. Perfect bit of squad building. And then we add in what's happening Right now, you've got Matthias De Ligt, who is going to be signed for, what was it, 45 million euros. So around about 38 million pounds. If he's, and of course, there's a big caveat with both of these signings. I've said it a million times. You know that. I know that. Injuries. That's the concern. But if it works, Manchester United centre-back options have gone from last season being Evans, Lindelof, Maguire, and Cambuela, because Martinez was missing the whole season. To delict Martinez and Yoro, who's going to be missing for the first three months of this season. That's not just an upgrade. That's not just evolution. That is a complete revolution at centre-back. That hopefully will inspire United to be far better at playing out from the back with the ball this year. Which we know we need to be. And then on top of that, you've got Masrawi. And the Masrawi situation is very much a Wan-Bissaka leaving, Masrawi coming in. A better profile, a better fit for the style that we want to work towards, but also not losing a player on a free transfer and signing a player in Masrawi for pretty much the same price. That there, a bit like this, right? A bit like good squad building that you get from Varane leaving and Yoro coming in. That's good squad building. And again, this is something that you're not... To build a squad successfully, you need to have, in my opinion, three successful transfer windows, summer transfer windows, back to back to back. Do that, do that three times in a row and you'll be able to build a squad. And I hope that Delict and Masrawi will be big elements and part of that. And if you look at the new, by the way, big up to Stan Chow and big up to United We Stand, the latest cover. I'm definitely going to get that one and pop that on the wall. But the new faces that are coming in, Masrawi and Xerxes, Ran Nistelrooy and Hake and Yoro and Delict. There is so much to love about what we've seen from United. And then on top of that, by the way, cheekily going in and... I say cheeky. Just going in there and convincing Obi Martin that if he's leaving Arsenal, that Manchester United is the right pathway for him. That he can just look at those two lads who won the FA Youth Cup only a couple of years ago. And now they're FA Cup winners. And now Garnacho's a Copper America winner. And Kobe Mane got to the final as well. Obi Martin has chosen United. So they're probably the two signings I think that are the real indicators that players are now looking at United a bit differently. But on top of all of this, right, and this is still where, in my opinion, this summer will truly be defined as success or not, or something that makes you go, all right, this, is really, this really is a very different Manchester United that we're looking at now. And that's with sales, all right? So you've got Dan Ashworth in, you've got Jason Wilcox in, and Omar Barada over there as well. You've got a new football structure and look, more is needed than this, okay? This is the start. Greenwood going, that was one of the priorities this summer. In my opinion, the three priorities this summer were Greenwood going, Sancho going and Casemiro going. I don't know whether Sancho is going to go and right now it looks like Casemiro is more likely to stay than go. But United need another central midfielder, all right? And I just don't see how you keep Casemiro, McTominay, Eriksen, Hannibal inside those positions, and then you go out and sign Ugarte, United need to sell. And we need to sell well, sooner rather than later. But that's where the likes of... I've spoken about all these names in the live shows, and they're all completely true. Hannibal 
uh, Lindelof, Pellistri, all three of those are surplus to squad requirements. That's what they are. You can say it's a horrible way to describe it, but it, football is cutthroat at the, at the top level. And just in, not at the top level, just in general. And United have been too polite and just bloated with squad players who don't really have an impact and change too much. Martial's gone this summer. Wan-Bissaka is about to be confirmed as leaving. Lindelof should be going. He's now, the Licks ahead of him. Ma um, Martinez ahead of him. Yoro's ahead of him. Maguire's ahead of him. And Evans is probably alongside him. Lindelof should be going. Hannibal should be going. Eriksen, in an ideal world, would, would be going. But I don't think anybody wants him. And then just let him out, see him, that contract. I, I don't think I'll be too offended by that. But Tomine should be going because of how much that money is going to impact our bottom line. And all of this is shaping up, as I said. It just feels very different. And the, the reason it feels different at its core, in my opinion, is because it feels connected. It feels like the coaches that we've re re we've got rid of and the coaches that we've brought in have been done for a specific set of reasons to build towards a game model and a vision. And it feels like that's directly connected to the players that we are signing. In Xerxes, in Yoro, in Delict, in Masrawi, it all feels connected. And then Ten Hag is still there. You've got Omar Baradarin, you've got Dan Ashworth, and you've got Christopher Favell, you've got Jason Wilcox. It all feels connected connected and that's why this doesn't feel in my opinion like a full storm that we've seen before we've seen signings and look we've seen transfer windows right let's go have a quick look at these transfer windows what's the best window that we've had i don't know post fergie the window's shaping up very well all right we need more sales we still need another central midfielder in my opinion probably maybe need another center back left back cover last summer i thought it was shaping up really well until the Maguire McTominay double deal to West Ham fell through, we didn't sign uh, Tadebo, and we know what happened during the season, the massive crisis we had. Mason Mount is yet to prove himself anywhere near a 60 million euro signing. So last summer had promised, but it didn't really fulfill it in the end. Summer before, geez. Mm, great signing. I had promised, but I don't think it's fulfilled it, and not for the price that we paid, 240 odd million. Summer before, Sancho, Varane, and Ronaldo. No long-term plan. Hasn't worked out. Good, but unreliable. No. Season before. Van der Beek, Ahmad. And, uh, well, Ahmad now, but mm, no, terrible. Season before. Probably one of the best ones we've had, but still, for the money, questionable. Season before, Fred Diogo de Lowe, uh, Maybe that one? You get the point here, ladies and gents. All right? It's been a long ass time since Manchester United have had a window with hindsight that you look back and go, oh, they nailed it, that window. But it feels like finally things are connecting at our club. More is still needed. More sales are still needed. But it's the 12th of August. And yeah, we've been delayed this summer by Ashworth not coming in and Barada not coming in early enough. And we may well, well, we, we may well run out of time. But it just feels, for me anyway, like I can finally say that my club is being run like a football club and I'm confident that we're on the right trajectory. That might just be me.